Good morning, folks. Here's a quick word for you. When was the last time you considered your mortality? That is something that many people usually don't think about. They will go about their business, focus on their 401k, their vacations, their next house, their next job, their next goal. But when it comes to mortality, <clears throat> that is something, excuse me, that they don't really uh, take into serious consideration. I have to give them a little bit of credit, just an inch of credit. The only time that they do think about their mortality is when they buy life insurance because they know that one day they're gonna die and they want, <clears throat> excuse me, and they want to make sure that their family is taken care of. That's the only time that they will think about death. Other than that, they have zero concern about that. And if you are one of those who are still on the fence regarding the risen Christ, the one who rose from the dead three days later after he was crucified, that one, that's the one I'm talking about. Jesus, who is God, who came down to earth and dwelt among us, who taught us, who showed us, who showed us that he can relate to how we feel. Him, who took the time to show humanity the ways of God. And throughout all of that, he was obedient to the Father. He died on the cross so that we will have the opportunity to respond to the Lord's grace. It is the most important opportunity in your life right now. You need to really, really take that seriously. You need to place that thought above any other thought that you currently have right now. You're going to die one day and you're not going to have a second chance to make it up to God. You have to make it up to him now through repentance. You have to repent. That means to turn away from your lifestyle. Afterwards, then you come to Christ. You see, the way I've, uh, I picture repentance is like driving on a highway, or let's just, not even a highway, driving on a road. And then you have the opportunity to make a U-turn. Even though there are signs ahead of you that says, no U-turn, keep in mind that that's the devil. The devil is telling you, nah, nah, you, you, you okay, you good. Just keep driving straight ahead. You know, he wants you to keep driving straight towards hell. But no, the Lord is saying, make that U-turn. And when you make that U-turn, that's repentance. That means that you have decided to have a change of mind and a change of heart. And once you turn from that, then you turn into the other road going into the opposite direction. And that direction is heading towards Christ. And when you go to him, you accept him. And after you accept him, you follow him. You pick up your cross and you follow him. And from that moment on, that's when you will begin to deny yourself and allow him to increase in your life so that you will decrease in your life. Your life has to be about him and him alone. He has to be first in everything, everything. So, when, so <clears throat> in closing, I just want to say, I'm, I'm looking at my bus is about to approach. Put him first above all of the things that you have in your life. That's my main message in this video. This is the preacher man signing out. 
May the Lord Yeshua Mashiach bless you all and your families. And in Yeshua's holy name, I say, Amen. Come to Yeshua right now before it's too late. Peace.